Welcome to another album review. This time we are reviewing the band Terrestrial Hospice, which is a crazy name for a band, and the album title is even crazier. Indian Summer Brought Mushroom Clouds. Yeah, I just had to read that because I could never remember titles that long, unless it's Inquisition, like ominous doctrines from a perpetual mystical macrocosm. Yeah, I thought, unless you're Inquisition, I'm not going to remember your album titles. But yeah, we're going to be talking about Terrestrial Hospice, and it is a crazy newer band, uh, Black Metal. This is requested a Patreon one by David as well, so shout out to you. Um, he also um, requested Infernal War, which we re reviewed previously, which was insane. So let's see if this stacks up with it, if I prefer it, if I don't. And let's talk about the songs themselves in the album, because it is it's a fairly short album. It's about 37 minutes in length, so it doesn't overstate its welcome, which I will say straight off the bat. It is quite short and concise, and it kind of needs to be with the brutality on display. So let's go through track by track and tell you my thoughts as a whole, and rate the album. So if you've heard it down below in the comments, pop your own ratings, and what do you think of the band as a whole? So let's kick it off with the first song in the album, with Straight Away. There's no little instrumentals, there's no little just warming you up, it's straight away blasting black metal. You know, intense as all fuck, club straight to your jaw, <coughs> dislocated, you fucked mate. That's how this album starts off, and I was thoroughly entertained. But let's talk about the title of the song, The Sump Where the Universe is Filth and Ephemera... Collect? Yeah, Ephemera? I don't even know what that is. Probably like viscera, or just some like bilely gooey, gunky substances. That's what it sounds like, and yeah, the song kind of represents that title, if it is what it means very well, because it's just gooey, just disgustingly heavy, and just blasting black metal. It kind of just bashes you over the head until you're brain dead. It's a very short song as well, only four minutes long, but it shows you what to expect with the album, with this kind of rhythmic energy and pulse and dizzying guitars, dissonant-esque, almost Death Spell Omega-esque guitars on here as well, which is really good. Very blasting, very heavy, and the demonic vocals, really cool. Love the vocals in this album. So, great way to kick off an album and show you they mean business. Please accept my most sincere condolences is the title of the second track on the album, which is an amazing title for a song. Love it. It's a lot longer, a lot longer of a song, and it has kind of like this doomy segment in the middle, where, which I really appreciate. So this is one of the standouts for me. Title, you know, doomy slower section, kind of changing the pace up a bit. Really quite enjoy it. A lot different to the first song. So yeah, this one is uh, not just one thumbs up, it's two thumbs up from Questy. This album's, you know, it's kicking off in style. And those, those dizzying guitar uh, melodies still stay. It has that rhythmic pulse, but it just has those slower parts. Uh, in the middle as well, which I really appreciate. And yeah, near the end, it sounds like you're literally entering hell. So that's always a good a good point for me. Who wants heaven? We've got hell. And next up, it ramps up the intensity after that slow burner at the end with Pyromania, which is again, just rhythmic pulse of just headbangingness. That's the right word. It's not even a, it's not a real word, but that's the word I'm going to say, headbangingness. Because it has such, just that... Doo, 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 and the drums on here, the drumming is insane. It has almost, has almost like a gallop to the drum. And you just, you just can't help but headbang. This is a headbangy song. Love it, kind of like the de debut song. You know what I mean? The start of the album, the very first song. Just as intense, probably even more. And just the gallop of it just keeps you entertained and engaged the whole way through. Amazing song again. Next up is Gang Raping the Seven Virtues, which is an amazing title. And it kind of reminds me of, like, Skyrim for some reason. Don't know why. It's the Nine Divines, not the Seven. But still, that reminds me of that. This is another longer one, but a very interesting one. It has, like, a grandiose feel to it. Still heavy, still energetic. You know, this, this album doesn't really let up, but it has a more of a grandiose feel to it, which I appreciate. And his vocal lines on here are amazing, like, destiny, not sure he actually says that, but, or charity, those vocal lines, it sounds like he's saying that, uh, beautifully delivered, 
love the vocals. And then the intro, like the drumming was cool into the crazy scream. Great way to kick off the song. Really good song. Um, and yeah, really intense. So yeah, another good, another good one. Another, another tick in Questy's little box. Come Join the Parade is next. And I'm starting to get into a kind of routine with these songs. Um, most of them are just blasting most of the way through. Uh, that rhythmic pulse, that rhythmic energy, and those drums, which kind of, you know, keep you in a trance. Um, it's getting kind of samey. Uh, if I was going to nitpick a lot of the the album as a whole, a lot of the songs kind of blend into each other and bleed into each other. Have that same pulse, that same rhythm, that same headbangy section all the way through. Some do variate, like um, the Seven Virtues one, but. I'm I'm starting to feel a bit worn out. This is why long albums for this style of black metal and for this style of death metal and even war metal, you don't want super long albums. So it is good that it's 37 minutes, but it is starting to feel a little bit repetitive on this song especially. It's a good song, you know, down the middle it gets to this groove and I like the groove in it, but it is starting to feel a little bit repetitive. Luckily the next song kicks off and I feel like it's the best one on the album. Pig Prayer, which has this great chorus with like this pray blood pray pig death and it's just like hell yeah this is the only song with the actual chorus that I could make out that you could kind of get stuck in your head um, but it's not just that like the feedback in the intro into the blasting heaviness again and just the rhythm of this one just didn't feel as monotonous as some of the others um, it actually kept it fresh, so yeah, really love this uh, this song. It's probably my favourite on the album, Pig Prayer. Come on, such a good name, so good lyrics as well, and the great chorus, still heavy as well. So that's what I like, keeping it fresh. And the final song on the album, I'm gonna butcher, Crucifixion of Anthropocentism. Is that how you say it? Now this one, again, I was kind of like, okay, you're ending it like this. On one hand, I appreciate it. On the other hand, I don't. On one hand, yeah, I appreciate it with is it's back to blasting black metal. Furious as hell kind of ends the way it starts, so like a loop, which is great, you know? It's Furious, the album, the whole way through for most of it. Um, but I kind of wanted maybe to swap it around, have the pig, the fun little chorus one at the end, or have the, the slower one where it kind of descends into hell as the end song. Um, but no, it's just a blasting black metal song, quite a short one, to end the album, which is, it's a good song, but I feel like it should be in the middle of the album. Personal taste, this one. I like the last song to be the longest one, I like the last song to be the grandiose one, the last song to be the atmospheric one, but on this album, there's not really any like that. The closest would probably be, oh, what was it, what was it, what was it I said? Accept my sincere condolences. Yeah, that one you could probably put at the end. You probably put that one at the end, but overall, nitpicking aside, this album was pretty fun. And will I like it more than Infernal War at the moment? No is the answer. Infernal War kicks the shit out of it, but it's still a great listen, still a fun album, and I enjoyed every song on it. I just feel like um, just rearrange some of the tracks. Maybe put the grandiose one, or the one where you're entering hell at the very end, and have the blasting black metal one you know, somewhere in the middle. And then it kind of feel like a nice closer. That's my only nitpick. And maybe some of the songs need a bit more variation than just heavy the whole way through. But oh, that feels like I'm slamming the album loads. But I enjoyed the album as a whole. Nothing was inherently wrong. The delivery, the vocal delivery was fantastic. The drums were fantastic. The guitar was dizzying and crazy and it kept my attention the whole way through. So overall, enjoyed it. 7 out of 10 would be my score for this album um yeah i liked it quite a lot so thanks for that recommendation and there's your review so what do you think of this album did was i too harsh on it was i too light on it you know let me know down below what you think of this band and this album and we'll see you again on another quest for metal